Calcium chloride is a salt with an interesting trait of being able to dissolve itself by absorbing water in the air. In other words, it is extremely hygroscopic. It has a variety of uses such as de-icing roads, modifying characteristics of a surprisingly large amount of foods, and most importantly, it can be used as a desiccant, aka a drying agent. Calcium chloride is very cheap, but if you don't have any on hand like me, it's really easy to make. All you have to do is add a hydrochloric acid to calcium carbonate, which can be sourced from seashells or limestone. This will form calcium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide. The calcium chloride will be dissolved into the water, which can be boiled off in a separate container to leave behind calcium chloride crystals. And then you're done! As a source of calcium carbonate, I have all these shells, um, which I'm gonna crush up in this makeshift mortar and pestle here because I was too lazy to get my actual one in the kitchen. And I'm gonna make this nice and fine so that way it will react faster with the hydrochloric acid. So now that I have the calcium chloride crushed up, I'm just gonna toss it into this beaker. This next step I'm doing over a pavement, just in case I spill any of this acid, because this is hydrochloric acid, also known as muriatic, and I'm gonna pour it in slowly, because this reaction is gonna produce carbon dioxide and water, and it'll also form calcium chloride, which is going to be dissolved in the water. So, according to this thermometer, the temperature is 11.2, 3, I'm assuming the margin of error is 0.1 degrees Celsius. Um, and I believe this is, this reaction is a little bit exothermic. So, the thermometer appears to have plateaued at 17.6, now 7 Celsius. Now, before it gets completely dark, I'm gonna add this to a hot plate, so that way it'll dissolve all the water and remaining hydrochloric acid, which will leave me, hopefully, with calcium chloride crystals. So I haven't been able to do anything with uh, this calcium chloride and impurities mixture for the past few days, and it got a bit goopy. That shouldn't matter though, because right now we're about to take it approximately 200 milliliters values i don't think would should really matter here and then we're just going to dissolve the calcium chloride uh filter off the solids and evaporate all the water off and then we should have calcium chloride crystals now i just have a simple coffee filter set up here i mean you could possibly just use a sieve for this um it's just the powder wouldn't get out. Um, and actually, a paper towel may have been a better idea because it's more porous than this and would be a lot faster. But the main idea is just to get the stuff that didn't react with the hydrochloric acid out. Now I'm going to take the solution of tap water and calcium chloride and hopefully not many contaminants and put it on this hot plate. And I should be wearing my trial gloves um, I haven't been wearing them most of this experiment, and that's because I'm too lazy to get some. I'm not saying you shouldn't wear my trial gloves, though. Wear, wear your gloves, kids. So, this is now about done. You can see that there's a little bit of water left in here, which you can probably just pour off. Oh boy, this is hot. Should probably be wearing some gloves. But, you can see that there's a lot of solid left there which I can take out and dry off. And now it's time to pour all the calcium chloride and impurities onto this ghetto watch glass, which will probably look bad on the camera because it's white, but I couldn't find any, excuse me, any uh, black lids, so this will have to do. Now I'm gonna wash the calcium chloride out once more to get it a bit more clean and got it more dry. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to this container where I can use it for things in the future. And I probably should be using a makeshift funnel or a nice funnel for this. However, it does seem a bit too late for that.
I have a lot of shots of the bees, about 30 minutes worth of just preparing the colony for winter. That includes extracting honey from the supers, adding metaway quick strips, and apivar. And I haven't even put anything on the hive yet, like a mouse guard or anything black to keep the hive warm. So tell me um, if you'd like to see all of that, any of, or just pieces of it, or just none of it at all, because I don't know if you guys like the bee videos. Anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.